today I'm going to show you how to make reindeer cake pops, in particular Rudolph cake pops. Take a cake recipe that you like, maybe a vanilla or a, a, a chocolate, red velvet, any cake you like, and bake it using the cake directions. Take it out of the oven, cool it, then um, cut up your cake, crumble it up into a bowl, kind of like this one, and then uh, incorporate about a tablespoon or so of frosting and then just start blending it all together with your hands until you get a really good doughy-like consistency. You don't want your cake to be, mo you don't want it to be wet. Moist is good, wet is not. So something kind of like this so that you can mold it and play with it a little bit will be perfect. Okay, next take some of your cake pop mixture and start rolling it out into a ball shape. So something kind of like this is perfect. Okay, next what you want to do is start shaping it into a reindeer head. So start dipping right about here on your cake pop so that you can start forming the snout. And then start elongating it a little bit, playing with the roundness. So something just like this is perfect. Then we just set it on our cookie sheet or anything that you'd like and then just pop it into the uh, refrigerator for about an hour so that it sets and chills. Then we'll be ready to dip them. So the next thing I want to do is put on my um, reindeer ears. And the way we do this, you take mini marshmallows and then what you do is you see your uh, mini marshmallow. What you want to do is cut it with a scissor at a diagonal, just like that, right here. So we'll take our scissors Go from one corner, just like that, to the other, just like that. And now what we have are two perfect little ears. Okay, so now um, that we have our marshmallow ears cut out, we've melted some chocolate over here, and we're going to use melted chocolate to stick our ears on to our cake pop heads. So dip just a little on the base, just like that, and then take your reindeer head and stick him right on there, just like that, and hold it in place as much as you can until it sets. And there's one ear, now let's do the other one, and there you have it. Okay, so now that the ears are done and secure, we are going to pop these guys back into the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Then we are ready to start dipping. Okay, so now I melted some chocolate and I'm actually using peanut butter wafers that are perfectly colored for our reindeers. But you can use chocolate or whatever you like. Just make sure that it's a nice color for the deers like this one. And here's my chocolate consistency. It's perfect for dipping. So what I wanna do now is pour it into a narrower, slimmer glass. So this is a, a taller glass as well. So this is just a wide base and I'd rather have a narrower uh, container that has more depth so that when I go to dip my cake pops, they will fully immerse in the chocolate and I just dip them straight back up. So let's pour my chocolate into the cup. So we take the cake pop stick and we dip about half an inch into the chocolate and then dip right into the bottom of our cake pop head. Now you want to go about halfway through or maybe even three quarters of the way through but not fully through obviously and then you see this little um, layer of chocolate that has kind of formed at the top. It's kind of a thick layer. I like to flatten it out a little so that when I do my final dipping it's seamless. So it looks something like that. So now what I'd like to do is put these back into the refrigerator for maybe just five minutes or so, not very long. So now while our cake pops are chilling, let's show you how to make the antlers. The way we do this is we take some pretzels and I bought these mini pretzels. It doesn't matter what brand you use really. Um, I just happen to like the shape of these pretzels. I've seen people use all kinds of different antlers, um, even different kinds of pretzels for antlers. It's whatever you're comfortable with. I just kind of find these cute. So let me show you how we cut this. 
Here is your pretzel. Now let's say this is the side that you want to make your antler out of. What you do is take a sharp knife and you cut it right along here. Right there, a little bit over halfway and slanted. And then you end up having these three antlers to work with. So place your pretzel down, position your knife, and slowly press down. And here you go. This is the outcome. So you end up having antlers just like that. And then keep cutting your antlers until you have two for each cake pop. So we take our chocolate, melted chocolate, and our cake pop, and we dip straight down until it's all the way covered and straight up. Just like that. And now what you do is just slightly tap and start twirling your cake pop so that you can get all that excess chocolate off. So while your chocolate is still warm, what we want to do is take your antlers and start placing them on top. So you take the bottom base of your antler, dip in just a tiny bit of chocolate. You don't need much. That's perfect right there. And what we want to do is go right into the cake pop and place it right there, just like that. Okay, so here's your next one. Take that and go straight in like that, just like that. And we are now ready to put these cake pops back into the refrigerator for another 15 minutes or so, just so the chocolate can set and then we can do our final touches. So now we're going to move on to some details. We're going to make the eyes. Now, one way to do them, and I've done this many times, is buy these pre-made eyes from your local cake store. And they work great, and the reindeers, reindeers look fantastic. So that's one way. The next thing you can do is take some white fondant, like this, roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. So now that my fondant's pretty much ready, I'm gonna take my, my piping tip, a number seven that I have here, and I'm gonna use a smaller end, which is a tip, to cut out some eyes. So now what we're going to do is take these freshly cut eyes and roll them out just a little so that they are a little bit more longer and oval shaped. Here in the picture I'm showing you we have um, a shot of what the fondant eyes look like when you first cut them and then what they look like when you roll them out. So once your eyes are shaped to look like slight ovals let them set and dry so that you can work with them later. Once your fondant eyes are firm and they've dried up, take a um, food safe pen like I have here from Gourmet Writer, here's mine, a black one, and start drying in the pupils, just like I have here. Once your eyes are ready, um, let's roll out a little more fondant. Now, I've rolled out these little disc-like shapes. These are going to be used for the snout. So what I did was again go back to my um, pastry tip. This is again that seven tip, number seven tip. And I used this end this time to cut out these little discs. And then with my roller, I flatten them out just a little bit more, just so they're slightly bigger. Then what we do, apply just a little bit of either buttercream, um, frosting, or water even, or your dab and hold adhesive, whatever you want, really doesn't matter. Apply a little to the back of this little disc. Take your cake pop, right here, and place this on the snout so that it looks like this. See that? Next, we're going to take these um, cinnamon red hots. Now, you can use red fondant if you'd like, or any other candy that you think is suitable, but I think these are pretty great. They are fantastic in shape, um, and they work out really well. So here's one. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is put just a little bit of buttercream for this one, I wouldn't use adhesive because it's pretty heavy, so I'd like something that I think will stick better. And put just a little bit, not too much, because you don't want it to show. Then take your cake pop and place the nose right on top 
of that white fondant piece that you just put on, just like that. So now you got Rudolph's nose. He's starting to shape up. Next, we want to draw on a smile because he's a happy reindeer. So again, you take your food safe pen and draw in any kind of smile that you want. Okay, here's my little smile. And now we are ready to place on the eyes. So find two pairs of eyes that you made that look like the best match. So take some um, adhesive or water or sugar water, doesn't matter because these fondant pieces are so tiny that they're not heavy at all, so anything will help it stick. And then we take our reindeer and place the eye. Be a little tricky. So then you just place the eye right onto your deer. Just like that. So there's one. Then we'll get the other one. And there we go. There he is. So as an optional step at the very end, what you can do is cut out really small fondant white pieces to fit right into the ears right here. So here's one piece that I cut out. So again, just put some adhesive glue right on the back of that. Take your deer and put this right in his ear. Just like that. And there you have it. Our reindeers are done. And you have yourself a Rudolph cake pop. Thank you so much for joining me today.